Howdy folks, welcome to another day in the Milky Way and Trina's over here cursing already. I swear I can't take her nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, how's everybody doing this fine Sunday? How are you doing Trina? I'm wonderful. I'm good. We speak of mind a lot and it is not easy, an easy thing to understand. There's a difference between the conscious mind, subconscious mind, super conscious mind and universal consciousness. In a spiritual reality, it is all the same thing, but in the mind-created illusionary hologram we call our life, there's a big difference. We operate and function in the four environments differently and all at the same time. The physical conscious mind is simple. It is mostly contained in your brain with an open gate to the subconscious mind. The conscious mind is mostly an organizing and management device. The subconscious mind communicates both with the conscious mind and the super conscious mind. The subconscious mind holds one set of the long-term memory. It will mostly take for good and believe everything it is told. It creates subconscious mind programs on the basis of the data it is fed. And it runs at that as movies, chatter, and private conversations in our head all the time. It has phenomenal capability. The subconscious mind can multiply numbers quicker than it would take to write the answer down. The superconscious mind is more elusive. It is a gate and retrieval device. It is basically an empty on its own. Whenever information is requested, I don't know what that said. <laughs> <laughs> Went too far. Information is requested from it, it goes and finds it somewhere in the universe. Remember, everything is connected through this sea of energy. The universal consciousness is the intelligent energy, bright white light of the universal father's love, which permeates everything and everyone in all of its existence. It holds all knowledge and spiritual substance because it is all things and is the only thing real there is. Everything else is an illusion. There it is. <laughs> Let us say you want some information. Your conscious mind asks the question to the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind look, looks around in a long-term memory and cannot find the answer. Then the subconscious mind sent a request to the superconscious mind for this information. The superconscious mind looks around in the creation and finds the information in another mind somewhere or with the universal consciousness. The superconscious mind then feeds the information back to the subconscious mind, which hands it over to the conscious mind which de delivers it to the conscious understanding. Now, did you get that? <laughs> yeah, that is powerful. That's the whole <laughs> higher self over soul. And then you're basically like your soul and then your human mind. That's your trinity of that, you know, self, higher self, and then the over soul, which is connected to the universal God consciousness. I totally get it. That's brilliant. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But Folks, you need to go back and read it. Like, <laughs> it's so complex. Like, okay. Anyway. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love but, it. I love it. I think so there you have the answer you were looking for. All this is automatic. I guess we can say, wow, what a computer. As much as possible, we should try to look through the illusion of the physical and mental existence and look to the spiritual existence first and allow for the spiritual and its energy to mold and create the physical. Folks, we're just getting started, and it is a beautiful world we're creating. So yep. please, go out there and create, create, create. Yes. Yeah. Be the frequency you want to receive. I love you all, folks. Y'all have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow. <laughs>